Do you all think that this guy has the smoothest game in the NBA today? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Towns End. Yo, what's up, everyone? Thank you for stopping by Towns Inn. We sit at the bar, have a drink if you like, and just chop it up. So, the person that we're discussing today is Paul George. Now, listen, I'm on social media, and it's had, like, Paul George theme. It's just a life of his own now, right? You see clips of Paul George playing, and Erica Badu. Music is going on in the background. So it's a smooth song. So I guess that, you know, accompanies, you know, Paul George's game. You know what I'm saying? So I see people in the comment section talking about, you can't tell me that Paul George isn't out there playing with some uh, AirPods. <laughs> I'm going to be real. Like, when you look at Paul George's game, it does look like he's just in the gym by himself. Just, you know, with some headphones on, just just trying different moves, not playing fast, not going game speed. I'm out here chilling with my sweats on, my shoes untied. You know, let me get the ball. Oh, I'm doing a little in and out head spin. No, that ain't going to work. I'm going to go between my legs. I'm going to step back and I'm going to shoot it. Ah, right, yeah, that, that might work. But, you know, I'm just I'm just having a good time. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting the shots up. I don't really want to. Look, cone drill. It kind of looks like that when he's playing. So do you all think that Paul George has the smoothest game in the NBA? I mean, what is it that he can do? He can defend. He's a defender. He was definitely known as a defender, especially in Indiana. I mean, he can dribble. We just talked about his handles. He can dribble. He can create his own shot. So he can dribble, check. He can create his own shot, check. He can defend, check. He has a jump shot, check, he's a shooter. He's athletic, check. I mean, he has all the attributes. I think the, the thing that, that messed up Paul George, I think it's two things. And mainly, I think it's because he got hurt. Because when, when we seen him, when I saw him in Indiana playing against, you know, LeBron and, you know, in the Eastern Conference Finals, I'm like, yo, this dude, he next up. That he next, like Paul George, he next. He dunking on people, jaying them up, and it's like, you know, he ended up getting injured. So I think his injury definitely impacted him, like definitely impacted him. And, and also along with that is just the consistency. A lot of times, you know, Paul George will go crazy. We'll see the flash of like, yo, yo, Paul George, that dude, then in the playoffs or something, he'll just fall off. Like, yo, what is, what is he doing? Like, what's going on? So I think it's like the injuries and just the being consistent. But y'all let me know what you all think. If it, if it wasn't for that, right, if it wasn't for the injuries um, and him being consistent, what do you all think Paul George would rank just as a, as a basketball player? Do you think that Paul George would, like, be ranked high? Like, like do you think we would be talking about Paul George a lot more? Or you just think, you know, he's just a – a, a good, solid player, you know, in this generation. What do you all think he was ranked? Because, you know, people talking about, like, right now, he's, you know, uh, having a pretty decent season. And a lot of people saying, you know, Paul George hasn't looked this good on the court um, since he was in Indiana. So, he's doing his thing. So, y'all let me know what you all think about PG-13. Thank you all for stopping by. Y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. All right. Peace.